What is up guys, it's me the Gaming D and welcome back to part number three of the uh, Hustle, Loyalty, and Disrespect 2K Showcase on WWE 2K15. Jesus Christ, that is one hell of an intro, but guys, uh, if you haven't seen the recent uh, two videos of this series, go ahead and check it. There is a playlist on my channel. And also, uh, if you guys want to talk about this series at all or any WWE stuff in general, go and join my Discord. Link is down in the description. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into this. We got SummerSlam of 2011, John Cena versus CM Punk for the WWE Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee for this next match, the Chief Operating Officer of the WWE, Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, Triple H is the Chief Operating Officer of the WWE, and he has put himself in charge of perhaps the most important match in WWE history. Yeah, with the game in there, we are guaranteed that at the end of the match, there will only be one undisputed WWE Champion. CM Punk said some very controversial things about Triple H and his family, but Triple H claims that he is going to call this matchup down the middle here tonight. I just can't imagine saying the type of things that Punk said to the guy that's about to referee your title match. I started. I used to walk the concourse in this place. In game, the question is, which one of these champions will be defending the WWE title the next time we come to you on pay-per-view in five weeks for Night of Champions? Well, whether you like John Cena or not, everybody respects him.
the undisputed WWE Championship. Introducing the participants first from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 222 pounds, WWE Champion C. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing 240 pounds, he is WWE Champion, Jim Cena. Oh, King, what an emotional night tonight. For the first time ever, we have two WWE champions battling it out to crown one champion here at SummerSlam. The atmosphere here is electric. Did you hear that ovation for CM Punk? Unbelievable. This match is so important. That Triple H, the game, the special guest referee to make sure that this thing is called down the middle and that we crown one champion at the end of this match tonight. You're right about that. Triple H is guaranteed there will be a single WWE Champion. And Triple H taking all the precautions necessary to make sure both athletes are ready to go. Cena, Punk, make history tonight at SummerSlam. Here we go! Alright guys, here we go, and I freaking already messed up. <laughs> But guys, Triple H, is it just me or does Triple H's hair look a little too dark in this game? I don't know why <laughs> it's that dark, honestly, but uh, it looks a little weird in my opinion. But anyways, uh, man, Triple H is the guest referee for this championship match. Honestly, Triple H has never been a good referee in any of the matches that he has refed. Uh, He's always interfered in a way, so uh, I don't remember if he interfered in this match or not, and I honestly don't remember who uh, the actual person to win this was supposed to be. Um, so it, it must be Punk <laughs> because I'm playing as CM Punk. So I don't know. Either way, man, it's freaking amazing. Uh, I love CM Punk, dude. If I was a wrestler, man, I would definitely try to uh, do what Punk did and actually be real. Be a real wrestler and not, uh, you know, hide behind the company. Just freaking say what he wants, does what he wants, and enjoys himself while he's doing it. It's, it's amazing. It got him pretty far. Got him really, really far. Got him at the top of the company, being WWE Champion and World Heavyweight Champion. And still the only guy to win two Money in the Banks, one after another. Uh, it, it's crazy. And then he went straight to the UFC and got a, a freaking giant uh, paycheck there. Uh, even though he did lose his... Uh, Two, two and only his only his two fights that he's had there, but uh, man, he is something. I miss him. I miss him a lot. I miss him a lot. How am I supposed to perform a suicide dive? All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, I messed up. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I messed up a little bit. Stop hurting me, Cena. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It hurts my feelings. Come on. I want you out. Get out of the ring, damn it. Oh my god, dude, I'm about to fight someone in real life. And it looks like that dynasty is in serious jeopardy right now. Oh, you're right. All right, come on. Get over here. And let's see. 
Yay! Alright, come on, Cena. Get up. Get up. Perform a suicide dive. Here we go. Here we go. Round two. Yeah! That was a suicide dive, but I guess not. What is going on? I'm performing the suicide dive. Are they talking about uh, up here? Maybe? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on. I did a suicide dive. Well, like, what's what am I supposed to do? Dude, I have no idea. What am I supposed to do? Suicide dive. With a finisher, press X and perform a front face lock. Going towards... What is it, a frickin' uh, special move or whatever that I'm supposed to be doing? Yo, this is something different that I just realized uh, the older games that they had. Uh, that you used to be able to get percentage from, you know, you know going towards your, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Going towards your finisher or signature or whatever. But now you can't do that. Now when you do that in the games, it's just... It's really whack. Um, it, it, um, come on. All right, let's let's put them over here. Uh, tri triangle suicide dive. Here we go. Doing a little. I think this was when they introduced OMG moments. It was either this one or the game before. I can't quite remember. There's been a lot of games. Alright, so I honestly wasn't expecting that. Out of, out of everything to happen, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Come on, Punk. Get up. Alright, look, now we got a win by pinfall. Come on, here we go. No, no, why'd you go over there? Come on, do do do. One. He's got him. He's got him. No, he doesn't. Cena stays in it. Incredible. The oh. resilience of Cena. I don't know. That looked like a mighty long or slow count. The game saying that Cena got his shoulder up before. The now that's something that I love about uh, matches with John Cena in them, like. This guy would literally kick out of the craziest moves done to him, like, uh, for example, his feud with uh, Punk, obviously. There were some moves done that were just freaking bonkers. Uh, then you got, like, the, the Kevin Owens uh, feud that he had when Owens first came in from NXT. Dude, he was getting, like, these special, like, power bombs and everything, dude. It was, it was honestly crazy. And then <laughs> you had uh, matches with freaking AJ Styles, dude. Those those are pretty damn good. Like those were uh, those were some crazy. Uh, come on! Ah, oh, I was trying to reverse it, but I guess not. Whatever. I guess I do it too fast. Yay! Uh, yay! Into the steps. Yep. Thank you. Come again. Why would Punk ever do that? I understand like the the knee slab, but the <laughs> uh, all right, Cena, come on, here we go. Get back in the ring. Whoop de whoop. Yep, there we go. All right, well now we have to get him into the corner so we can do a uh, signature. Let's get him up in here. 
Do a little boom, knee to the face, and yeet. And then we can do the GTS. And hopefully pin him and uh, win the championship. Oh, one, two. Oh, John Cena, you son of a gun, you. I hate you. Okay, I don't hate you. I, I, I actually enjoy Cena's wrestling. Uh, a lot of people hate him. I don't know why. Yay. I don't understand why people hate Cena so much. I understand he's uh, been in the spotlight of the company for freaking 15 years, but... Uh, you know what can you do about it? He's uh he's good at what he does. He can talk pretty pretty well on the mic. Um, he can rap. <laughs> he's trying to be the uh, the next rock, and you know be a big movie star, which I'd say it's working. He's he's doing a pretty damn good job so far in uh, the movie industry. Dude, oh no, I shouldn't do this. Punk, get down. I, I'm having flashbacks from, I think, episode one. No, we're going for it. Yay! Okay, that was awkward. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cena. Oh, my God. Cena, no. No. Oh, he's going to do the leg drop, isn't he? He's going to do the leg drop. Oh, I think he was going to do it, but uh, I kind of... Was like, nah, son. Uh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? You okay? Alright, come on. One more. Yay! Alright, we gotta do this go to sleep, man. We gotta, we gotta end him. We gotta end Cena. Come on, Cena. Go to sleep, dude. Alright, come on. One. Oh my god. Guys, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Every time. Every time Triple H is the freaking Oh, every time, every time. Dude, I can't believe I'm going to I'm going to cause uh him to lose. Oh, yeah, let's go to town. Man. No, oh, man. I I <laughs> I <laughs> Dude, I ruined <laughs> I ruined the challenge. Uh, I had to defeat him by pinfall, but oh well. Alberto Del Rio has just become the new WWE champion. Oh man, I can't believe what I just saw.
Guys, I told you every single time Triple H is the guest referee, something happens. The controversial pinfall with uh, Cena's foot on the ropes. Then you had Kevin Nash coming out of nowhere just to powerbomb CM Punk. Then you got Alberto Del Rio came in and cashed in his briefcase. Man, <laughs> man, oh man, but guys, this is going to be the end of part number three. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this series so far, please leave me a like, and again, go join my Discord to talk about anything wrestling related, or even video game related, it does not really matter. But guys, again, I hope you did enjoy, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.